It surrounds us every day, in our homes, in our clothing, in our transport, even in the manufacturing of our food. We challenge you to find a situation where it is absent. So, to what are we referring? No, not Justin Bieber, but Nylon. Nylon was first discovered in 1928 as a byproduct of the request in DuPont Laboratories to investigate the structure of such polymers as silk, cellulose and rubber. William Hume Carruther was led to conclude that if a monofunctional reactant reacted in a certain manner to form a small molecule known as a monomer, then similar reactions that used a comparable reactant but with two reactant groups would form a polymer. This is polymer. To form polymer fibres, he separated a portion of soft polyester material and pulled it away from the clump with a glass rod. Unfortunately, these fibre softening points were too low for use in textiles. Carotha realised that fibres could be formed from polyamides which would form stronger fibres. This led to the discovery of nylon in 1939. Nylon 66, the first engineering thermoplastic, was tough and rigid and used to make a range of products including automotive gears to hairbrush handles. As Nylon 66 allowed for hydrogen bonding it provided strength to the structure of the polymer due to the links made between polymer chains. This meant that it was perfect for products in need of high durability but pretty useless for other uses requiring flexibility. Imagine trying to wear tights made of nylon 66. Yeah, not very comfy. In the early 1940s, nylon was created entirely from petrochemicals, unlike the previous artificial fabrics, rayon and ace tape, which were plant-based. Wallace Carothers is considered the father of the science of man-made polymers and is responsible for the invention of nylon. The base elements of the monomer is nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen and carbon and has arranged in this format. The first approach was traditionally to combine acidic molecules which had the chemical formula of COOH on both ends. The chemicals that contained the compound amine had the formula NH2. This produced nylon 66. The second approach was also originally a compound. This had an acid at one end and an amine at the other. It was polymerized to form a chain with repeating units, NHCH2NCO. It was such an astounding discovery that by the 1970s, nylon replaced Asian silk and some planted cotton. Different polymers have different physical properties. Some are stronger, some are stretchier, some are more easily moulded, and so on. Polymers, the child invention of nylon, have travelled far and wide to make an impact on people's lives today. It has travelled into space, burrowed kilometres underground, and explored the deepest oceans. It has helped shape our world today, bringing alight new scientific discoveries and continuing to push the boundaries of its endless uses. Although it is less than 100 years old, it has already grasped onto each and every part of our lives. It is clear that with that small brainwave of inspiration came a new generation of inventions, technology and scientific research, enabling our world to continue evolving in the vast universe that we call home.